Hello everybody and welcome back to another helmet review and today we have the Jazzwares Darth Revan helmet. That's right, Jazzwares started doing helmets and I believe costumes now as well. And if you guys haven't heard of Darth Revan, he is from Legends. So Darth Revan started out as a Jedi, turned to the dark side, and then came back as a Jedi. Uh, there's a whole bunch of lore there I don't have time to get into uh, in this video, but there's definitely a ton of lore with this character. Uh, the helmet is an old style Mandalorian helmet. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and this was a GameStop exclusive helmet. You couldn't buy this anywhere else. Let's go ahead and get this open. The box is pretty neat because it does have a open window design unlike the Black Series, which is completely closed off. And also GameStop is selling a full uh, costume, an adult deluxe costume for $79.99. I'm not entirely sure how good that's gonna be, if it's gonna be like actual like good fabric or if it's gonna be that rubbery detail stuff. We won't know, it's coming out later in the year. Uh, but yeah, here's a look at the helmet. So we do have soft goods. It looks good. I really like the way this helmet looks. Um, we'll do a 360 here. You guys can see the fabric. You can see the detail. Now this hood comes off to actually reveal a fully sculpted helmet. It's not just like a half mask. And it also has all the detail on the side. So they, they built a full helmet, uh, which, is, which is awesome. So yeah, Jazzwares didn't have to do all that detail considering it's all covered up, but they did take it a step further to do all of that detail. There is a tag here you can take off. You can just cut that off. I left mine on. And the soft goods are actually attached to the helmet. They don't come off. Um, but I think that's a good thing because it'll just help you wrap up the helmet the way it's supposed to look and keep it in order there. And the fabric is pretty soft too. Um, I'm not like a huge fabric, you know, I don't have all the knowledge I need on that, but uh, to me it's it's a real soft fabric and it feels durable, it's not very, it uh, doesn't seem like it's going to rip or tear that easy. Put back on the helmet here, and we'll go ahead and put this back to normal and take a look at the inside. So the inside, uh, there is some detail and you'll also see it kind of feels like a Black Series helmet with that um, head, head piece to lock in. It is a little tight on my head. Um, but we'll get to that in a moment here, but I normally remove those anyway. Also, the biggest thing keeping this from being like super accurate is these four holes here. I don't know if they're there for breathing because I don't see any screws. So that's kind of the only thing there is those four holes on the front of the mask are kind of a, I'm not entirely sure why those are there. And let's take a close up of the front of the helmet here so you guys can see uh, this is good weathering. I feel like this looks very, very real. Um, I like this weathering a lot more than the Black Series weathering where it's like painted on. This feels like somebody actually took like something and scratched it. And here's me wearing the helmet. Sorry, it's a little dark, but you guys can see that it does fit on my head. Uh, the helmet kind of has an opening in the back. You'll see my neck there. So hopefully that costume does have like a long turtleneck that goes up. but. Um, as you can imagine, not a lot of visibility because of how the uh, visor is designed. But yeah, I mean, this is Jazzwares' first attempt at a helmet that, uh, that I've bought. And I'm very impressed uh, considering it's almost $50 cheaper than Black Series helmets. You know, that's, that's a big difference. $70, $80 helmet uh, versus like Captain Rex was $120, $130. So tell me what you guys think about this. Are you guys going to pick it up? Um, are you guys going to pick up the suit that goes along with it? And again, this was made by Jazzwares. This isn't sponsored, but I, I definitely love the stuff this company makes. These guys went from Micro Galaxy Squadrons to now making helmets. Super excited for the future. And we'll see you guys in the next one.